Hello guys, welcome to another video in the Team Nature channel and in today's video we will be talking about some of the tools that you could use in uh, the reconnaissance phase whenever you're pen testing a website. So, uh, the in the phase of reconnaissance you basically are only gathering information about the website, you're not performing any uh, attacks or anything, you're uh, gathering from the social network information about the website uh, users and uh, like and uh, the one of the important things that you could do in this phase is you basically uh, scan for hidden directories and files on the server that's running the website and that potentially can lead to ex uh, exposing a very important files like the configuration files for the server or uh, it could also lead to, for example, uh, like uh, find any files that's containing the usernames for the users or important like the emails or something containing the email for the administrator. That's very serious problem. And uh, also you can find something called an IDOR, which is when you find an endpoint EPI that doesn't require you to be logged in to interact with DPI because sometimes the application might require you to be logged in to interact with the endpoint API but the API itself might not require you to do that to, to be logged in to interact with the APIs so uh, scanning for those endpoints might may, may be very good and helpful step to do when you are pen testing a website and uh, when you find an endpoint API, you basically just test it. For example, remove the uh, remove the cookies, the authentication, the session cookies, and then test it and see what the response would be. If, for example, the application for the endpoint, for example, is returning the posts for a user, then remove the uh, the authentication and see if if it still works. If if it still works, then the endpoint doesn't require you to be logged in and you can do the same thing uh, or if you find an endpoint API that's returning the uh, the users information about the users on the server then you can uh, query for example like the finding credentials for a privileged user like the admin on the root or the root so it depends on what the API is for and why it's doing uh, why it's uh, why it's doing okay so and the tool uh, there is actually a lot of tools that could use in this uh, to do that like uh, if you like to use GUI uh, graphical user interface then you could use something like uh, their buster which is a, a Java application uh, GUI that's written in Java or you could use uh, something like uh, go buster which is uh, written in go but it's very powerful but to, in today's video we will be talking about a very good and powerful tool called their search which is a command line tool written in python uh, that is used to brute force hidden web directories and files and it can run on windows uh, on linux and on mac os so no matter what uh, operating system you're running uh, their search is available for you to use so let's talk uh, let's take a look at the installations so this is the github uh, page of the their search the link would be in the description and to install it you just uh, follow their instruction of uh, installation they really have a good documentation you can check it out and read about the options if you want to Okay, so the installation, you need to, to have git installed, so just type in which git, and as you see, I have git installed. If you don't, you just run the sudo apt install git command. Okay, I'm not going to run that because I have it already installed, and you just, you basically need just copy this line, and paste it here, and run it. It's going to clone the files to your home directory. Okay, it's as you see, it's not really the big tool. It's gonna done in a few seconds. Oh. 
Okay, once that is done, you just need to do the next step is to cd into the dir search. So if you list the files in your home directory, you should see a new folder called dir search. So just cd into it. And let's list the files inside this directory. You have the dir search.py, which is the application it, the application itself, and we have a file called requirements.txt. You need to install these requirements using pip3. It's an app this uh, application is written in Python 3, version 3, so you just need to type in pip3 install dash r requirements.txt and it's gonna install all the requirements for this application. Okay, so I have already installed them, so for you it's just gonna go into the process of installing uh, each requirement in its step. Okay, alright, so now let's see the how to run this command. So let me go back to my home directory and to do that you just need to type uh, uh, dot and then forward slash and then their search their search and let's type dash dash help to see the options that we can use with this application. As you see it's a very powerful tool that comes with a lot of set of uh, options that you can use. Alright so the first one is the dash dash version just basically just to see what version of their search you have installed we have dash help, which, which which is what we use to get this page, and then the methodology, the what you use to specify the target. Okay, those are the options for that. We have the for each uh, uh, option, we might have both the short form and the long form. You can use either of those, the dash u to specify the URL. You can use either the short form dash u or dash dash URL equal. And this is the target URL. You can either scan for multiple targets and you put them in a text file, each target in its corresponding line, and then you use dash lowercase l or dash dash URL dash list to specify the URL list file. You can also take the target uh, URLs from the command line stdn or you can uh, intercept the request for the target and then uh, like using burp suite and then store it in a file and then pass it with the dash dash row you can use the dash e extensions for example if you have a, a file with the word list and then each uh, you want to append an extension to each uh, to the end of each word in this word list then you can use the dash e instead of going to the file and to the word list it in the word list using a vim and appending the extension to the end of each word you can use simply dash a and then this tool will do it for you. We have the dash uppercase uh, uppercase x uh, to exclude an extension. For example, to exclude extensions, you don't want to use them. We have the dash f to force extensions. And then we have the, uh, the, the dictionary settings. We have the dash lowercase w to specify the word list. We have the dash dash prefix to specify prefix for each word in the word list. We have also suffix to specify suffixes for each word in the word list. We have the dash u to turn each word in the word list to be uppercase or dash l if you want it to be lowercase or dash c to capitalize the first letter in each word. And then we have the general settings. We have the dash r, the recursive, and then we have the recursive depth and we will take a look at those because you will understand the more if we if we did them uh, in the in the tool instead of just me talking about them but basically what they are for example if you scan for the dash index for example and then you find the dash index is there i want you also to scan for dash index dash something if there is dash index dash home or dash index dash login or something that's what this are it doesn't stop when it finds the first match and then it scans for the next uh, uh, layer think of it like this okay we have the threads the number of threads to use and increasing this number can uh, you can speed up the process of uh, this tool and the and probably you wouldn't do that because the default is 30 threads which should be fine should be fine in most of the cases we have the dash lowercase i to specify the headers that uh, uh, to specify the header codes that you want to return in the to output you for example you're only interested in the 
uh, requests that return 200 uh, status code then you can specify with the dash a you can also specify uh, comma separated multiple status code or a range using the dash for example from 300 to 399 uh, we have dash x uh, for example you specify a range and then you want to exclude one from that range you can use the dash lowercase x and basically we have a lot of ones uh, for example we have the dash dash random agent to choose a random agent to send with the request we have the method to specify the HTTP method the default is get and the dash D if you are specifying the data to send with the request if it's a post request you have the dash headers if you want to specify a custom header and then we have dash uppercase F to follow the redirections and we have the dash dash cookie if you want to send cookie along with the request and then yeah that's it we have the delay that is an important one if you want to specify delay between requests and yeah let's uh, use it for example I have an application that's running on my local host on port 8800 let's scan this application so the command would be dot 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 the, the search their search and let's go back to the help menu first we need to specify the URL so let's do that so dash u would be HTTP uh, local host port 800 8000 okay we have specified the uh, URL now we need to specify the word list so dash w I have it stored on a directory called word list on my home directory and it's called extra called it let's use small.txt and you can find those if you look in the github uh, search for sick lists and you find the they really have good lists to download and use with these tools okay now we have let's use the for example full URL to output the full URL instead of just outputting the word that works so dash dash full URL and let's also specify random agent to use to use a to choose a random agent to send with the request and let's hit enter and it's gonna start uh, finding those and so we have an admin it finds an admin URL we have login we have logout we have register so those are the uh, URLs that we found and they there could be a lot more than that and you can find more if you use the dash R to be recursive and then dash uppercase A R to specify the depth for example one and let's now see what it will find okay once it's done let's analyze the output and see what what, what was what's hap what happened okay so waiting only to finish uh, one thing that I just want to point out for example if you click anywhere in the terminal then the tool you see that the progress the it stops working so you just need to hit enter for it to start again as you see it might be taking a lot of time but you can always increase the number of threads as you see the threads the default is 30 okay so what happened here we have a uh, find found this URL the dash login which is returning 302 and then adds this one to the queue so now it found dash login and it's gonna see if it finds dash login dash something and it did found dash login dash admin and for those it didn't find anything uh, but you see that it starts scanning dash login and it starts scanning dash logout and then dash uh, register uh, sometimes you can also uh, create your own word lists depending on the application the for example if you scan for school application Pinterest any school website then scanning for grades and uh, uh, 
grades, classes, and something with more my, would make more sense. So always creating your own word list would be very good. Uh, solu with very good uh, solution to finding more endpoints. So what I, I did this small that txt I found it online on these set lists, and what I did I created my own called it extra with extra small which contains only a few words so let's see how many for this it found one two three four euros let's see how many we would found using this uh, list now as you see it found a lot more than only this it find the login the register the admin the logout the custom the login admin it find the admin logout and the admin login so creating your own mode list sometimes could be very good depending on what the application is for and then uh, you can test for specific uh, endpoints and URLs. And basically that's how you would uh, use it. Uh, one just thing that I want to point out is when you are using the dash R and the dash R1, you basically never want to use the dash F, never want it, want it to follow the redirect because let me see if I run this now. As you see, it only find those and it didn't find uh, the admin login and the admin logout. So because this tool, once it hits 200, it doesn't add this to the queue to scan it for more uh, matches. So just never use the, the dash F. So just use it this way and never use the dash uh, F to uh, follow the redirection. Okay, so that was uh, about how to use the their search. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or uh, any questions, uh, requests for any videos don't you type it in the description in the comments and i'd be happy to answer your questions or make videos uh, that you have requested thank you for watching and have a good day